Hi, let's take a look at an example of a partially inelastic collision. So we have a projectile that has a mass of 5.2 grams and it starts traveling at 672 meters per second. There's a stationary block that has a mass of 700 grams and is initially at rest. Now the projectile collides with that block and passes through and afterwards it's traveling at 428 meters per second and neither mass of the object is significantly changed by that interaction. So how fast is that block going to be traveling after the projectile passes through? So for any collision we can always conserve the momentum. So for the case of a partially inelastic collision, we have equal numbers of objects before and after, but we still only have one equation that we can work with. So our initial momentum is the mass of object one, which is gonna be the projectile times the initial velocity of the projectile, plus the mass of object two times the initial velocity of object two. Well, since object two starts at rest, that term is just zero. Now, after the collision, we have the mass of object one times the final velocity of object one plus the mass of object two times the final velocity of object two. So both of those terms are potentially there. So if I want to solve for the final velocity of object two, I can subtract this final momentum from object one from the other side. So mass two times the final velocity of mass two is equal to mass one times V one initial minus V one final as a quantity, or I could think about this as the initial momentum of the projectile minus the final momentum of the projectile. And then to find the velocity of object two, we would divide both sides by the mass of object two. So for the final velocity of object two, I said we could factor out this mass of the projectile. So we'd have the mass of the projectile, 5.20 grams, divided by the mass of our initially stationary object, 700 grams, times V1 initial, which is 672 meters per second, minus V1 final, which is 428 meters per second. So that would give us a change in velocity here of 244 meters per second times 5.2 divided by 700 gives us a final velocity of 1.81 meters per second. Thanks for watching.